All right, all right. So let's keep rocking here. Now, with segmentation, there's lots of cool stuff we can do, right? Well, what if we wanted to segment based off of a specific special topic? How would we do that? Well, now that you know the basics, well, it, it should be pretty apparent, apparent how to do that. You choose the messages that have to do with that specific topic, and you either create a segment that is based on the people that opened those emails all for that particular topic, or that click links in those emails for that particular topic. But what I want to do here in this little example here is just show you what if there was like one specific link that you sent out over several emails and you want to find the people that have clicked that particular link to that particular website. Let's say it's your blog, for instance, right? Um, for us in our business, I own a business called the Home Business Agency. Uh, that's where people can get traffic to for in the home business industry what i consider some of the best traffic out there we work hard all day to create it um and so for me what if i wanted to segment all the people in my autoresponder who have clicked to go over to my advertising agency site right because if i know who those guys are they're probably the people that are most interested in at least getting traffic right so we have to be a little bit like sherlock holmes here and infer that because they clicked on something that had to do with advertising traffic getting online, that they're interested in that topic. And maybe it means they want traffic, but maybe it means they want to learn about getting traffic as it relates to this specific example. But knowing that and being able to segment those people lets us create a segment that we can speak to specifically about traffic related stuff. Hey, I know you're trying to get traffic to grow your business. Well, here's a cool tool I just found that I think you'll really dig. Now, they might not know again that you know that they're interested in that because you segmented them, but they'll probably say, whoa, that's pretty cool that he sent that to me or she sent that to me. Here's how you do it. So you just go in and get response and you click on contacts and you click search contacts. All right, and we want to create a new segment. So first thing we do is we click add new segment. And we click all subscribers. All right, again, we're going to use the same thing here. And for this one, I'll use any. I mean, if I really wanted to make it a hyper, super tight group of people, then I would use all because that would mean they would have to have clicked whatever specific link in all of the messages that that link was present. And that would be a small group. But let's just say I wanted to choose a group of anyone that's clicked that link through any of my autoresponders, right? Well, let me just uh, actually use broadcast messages because I know I sent this particular link out more in my broadcast than I did in uh, my autoresponder messages. So any, 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 any. So we're gonna choose um, link clicked as an option and we're gonna choose our newsletter message and we'll choose, let's go back to our first message and we'll see if that link's in there. It might not be. Ah, oh, it is, thank goodness. All right, here's the link, the Home Business Agency. So all the people that opened this particular email and clicked that link, there's 17 of them, boom. Now let me do the same thing. Link clicked and newsletter. We choose a different newsletter. And there we go. Let me do it one more time. Link clicked newsletter and choose a different newsletter that I know that that link was in, or at least I'm pretty sure I'm right. Boom. So by just going through my list, slicing and dicing it here, now I know the people that are interested, at least because they've clicked to find out more, they're curious about getting traffic to their website. And maybe I just call this segment um, traffic. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think of something better, but that'll work for now. So now again, I just created a whole new segment in my autoresponder of the people that I know for a fact that are interested in getting traffic. And by the way, all of your segmentation lists are saved here, right? 
So if we wanted to, and hopefully I didn't mess anything up. All right, so cool, that should be saved. If I go to my segmentation list, let me go ahead and refresh. Oh, yeah, there we go, traffic. I don't think I, I didn't save the hyper-responsive one. Um, so traffic, and so here's the deal. Like, I mean, what you can do is over time just edit this, right? So going back to the exact same page, let's say there's more emails that you sent out with a link to a specific topic, Facebook, SEO, whatever. Just come back and edit your segment for all the people that clicked on a link or opened an email that had to do with that particular topic and you grow that segment in your list, and that's pretty darn powerful. I mean, I know a lot of marketers, and I don't know many of them that do this. So you make you do this, and in other words, you've got an unfair advantage in, in, in your business. So this is another cool way that you can segment your list based on any particular topic or interest or problem or desire, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, yeah, that's the deal. So questions, comments, let me know. And uh, I think I'll, I'll show you one more way to do this. So uh, hold tight and we'll dig in one more time.